You're in a conversation and someone says, artificial intelligence will soon replace humans in almost everything. It's smarter and more efficient than us and we won't be able to keep up. What would you say? In the last two years, machine learning models and generative AI chatbots have transformed the internet by doing things that previously only humans could do, such as creating images, producing music, and writing. This has led some to speculate that in a short time, artificial intelligence will overtake human intelligence as a source of thought and decision making. For example, Tesla and SpaceX founder Elon Musk recently said that AI will soon render humans mostly obsolete, predicting that intelligence that is biological will be less than 1%. While artificial intelligence has shown remarkable progress, sensational claims about AI replacing humans misunderstand what AI is and underestimate its major shortcomings. They also misunderstand and underestimate the uniqueness of the human mind. So the next time someone says, artificial intelligence will replace humans at almost everything, here are three things to remember. Number one, artificial intelligence is not as smart as many think. At its most basic level, artificial intelligence isn't intelligent at least not as the Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary defines it. Intelligence is the ability to learn or understand or to deal with new or trying situations. Except in a metaphorical sense, computers don't learn or understand to deal with any situation. Instead, so-called machine learning algorithms are instructions a computer uses to process vast amounts of information like images and text in order to create statistical models. With enough input, AI chatbots like ChatGPT answer prompts by users. At no point in this process, however, do the transistors and electronic storage components learn, understand, or think. Computers do not comprehend the data they analyze, the questions users ask, or even the answers they produce. They merely draw conclusions from statistical patterns in the data, sometimes with humorous results. Recently, X's Grok AI tried to summarize pro basketball player Clay Thompson's poor shooting performance in an NBA playoff game. The typically reliable Golden State Warrior shot an awful 0 for 10 from the three point line in a loss to the Sacramento Kings. Pulling from online fan content that teased Thompson for throwing up bricks, Grok generated a story reporting that Thompson had vandalized several people's houses with actual bricks. The reason for the misunderstanding was simple. There was nobody there to understand the joke. Even if AI eventually gets better at discerning the subtleties of human humor, it will never laugh at the joke. Not really, because a mathematical model isn't a mind, no matter how well it mimics one. Number two, artificial intelligence cannot create. It imitates and extrapolates. Because so-called machine learning is entirely dependent on the training data it receives, it has no ability to check its models against the real world. Everything generative AI appears to create is a result of what designers feed it or what's available on the internet. This makes chatbots especially vulnerable to error and attacks. For instance, programmers are now warning of something called model collapse when ai is trained on an internet increasingly saturated with ai generated material when ai models consume their own output it creates a feedback loop and the quality of the answers they give declines popular mechanics described an example of model collapse when a team of researchers trained a machine learning model on its own answers for 10 generations the AI began by writing about Gothic revival architecture in Renaissance cathedrals. After 10 cycles, it was babbling about jackrabbits with multicolored tails. Of course, AI is also vulnerable to so-called data poisoning by malicious actors. Some warn that chatbots could be trained by strategically placed poison data to spread false information about public figures or steal people's financial information. Number three. Human intelligence is not like a computer. It is unique. For all of the apparent advances in artificial intelligence, we have actually made very little progress toward what most people envision when they think of AI, a conscious, adaptive, generally intelligent entity of the type seen in science fiction. This is because while researchers have had great success producing narrow AI like ChatGPT or Google's Gemini, 
they are still mostly stumped on how to create artificial general intelligence, or AGI. As John Lennox explained in his book 2084, Artificial Intelligence and the Future of Humanity, narrow AI can be great at specific repetitive tasks like playing chess, constructing sentences, or identifying precancerous tissue on a CAT scan. However, AI is not great at other things that come easily to humans, such as navigating an unfamiliar room or detecting sarcasm. This is because, so far, AI lacks the kind of generalized intelligence that allows us to move from task to task, to think in the abstract, to apply background knowledge, to use common sense, and to understand cause and effect. For all the hype around machine learning, AI systems continue to be, at the most fundamental level, programs that do what their creators tell them to do. The human mind, in other words, is unlike anything the world of computing has yet produced. This is partly because, as psychologist Robert Epstein argued several years ago at Aeon, the human brain is not a computer. It does not process information, retrieve knowledge, or store memories as symbolic data. These, he explained, are metaphors we have come to use in the digital age, just as people in past ages likened the mind to a steam engine, a mechanical clock, or a set of pipes. We use such technological metaphors because we don't really understand ourselves. For instance, scientists still do not know where, if anywhere, in the brain, human consciousness resides, how it emerges, or even what it is. And the concept of the soul is unexplained by science. The idea that we would ever be able to create a computer that rivals human intelligence, or is conscious, intentional, or truly creative as we are, is much more far-fetched than our science fiction saturated culture would lead you to believe. AI will almost certainly become a major part of life in the coming years, and it will replace humans in many tasks that rely on repetitive, predictable skills. But it is not, in the most meaningful sense, smarter than we are, nor is it likely to render the human mind obsolete. So, the next time someone says artificial intelligence will replace humans at almost everything, Remember these three things. Number one, artificial intelligence is not as smart as many think. Number two, artificial intelligence cannot create. It imitates and extrapolates. And number three, human intelligence is not like a computer. It's unique.